Watching this footage back, I'm cracking up because I was so convinced that this was like the cutest little intro clip. And here it is. This is my favorite project bag. I keep my highest priority projects in this bag. So I do rotate the contents out every now and then. But at the moment we have this crochet project I'm working on. Looks a mess right now, so we're just gonna toss that to the side. And then I have my hand cream. I like this one, it's not too greasy. It doesn't get lotion on my projects or make my needles all sticky. And then I have my matching needle case from the same Etsy shop that I'll link in the description box below. Not sure if this exact pattern is available, but she has lots to choose from. You open her up, it's a pretty simple design. There's no labels or anything on the pockets, which I prefer. And then in these back pockets, I just keep my cables. Mine come in two sizes, so I just keep small on the left and large on the right. Nothing too fancy. And then you have this little side zipper pocket that I don't keep very much in. Right now I just have a little gripper and some removable stitch markers. So I'm gonna zip that back up and then you just kind of do a little tri-fold to close it and wrap this strap back around and snap it closed. Easy to use and the fabric feels so great. Then we have my favorite lip gloss of all time, my favorite night balm from CO Bigelow. I live and die by this stuff. Absolute 10 out of 10. And then my AirPods, which shows you just how much time I spend in this bag. Then I have a key leash with some light bulb markers. And in these skinny pockets, I have a pen, Sarasa clip, cause it has a little clip, appropriately named. And then in the other skinny pockets, I have a bunch of crochet hooks. I usually keep the four and the 3.5, but for some reason I also have a five in there today. So plenty of hooks. Then I have this super cute four inch ruler, great for checking gauge. And then I have the best scissors of all time. Until I had these scissors, I didn't know that there could be best scissors of all time, but these are absolutely them. They're so small, they are so sharp, and they just cut beautifully all the way down to the tip. I just love them. We have a tape measure in case I need to measure something longer than four inches with a little button. I think a five pack was like $7. Then I have some tube lacing from Joanne that I use as my knitting cords. Very simple, nothing fancy. And finally, we have my magic little box of everything I could ever need. And almost everything in this box is linked on my Amazon storefront. First is my cable hook. This is the Superior Elite cable hook shape. If you haven't tried out this shape, you definitely should because it stays out of your way and it just makes using a cable needle way less annoying. This is me trying to make my tapestry needles all cute. And watching this back while editing, I just had to giggle because I put them down and then acted like I just picked them up like that. So unnecessary, but I guess anything for the shot. I have a ton of needle stoppers, and yes, I did have to go digging for those in the grass immediately after that clip. But these are my favorite because I just love the way they complement the tip of the needles. Every project bag needs T-pins, no surprise there. And now for my one and only progress keeper. I feel like no other progress keeper will bring me the amount of joy and look as beautiful as this one does. But who knows, that could change. Then I have this stitch marker that belongs in a set, but he's alone right now. And the ring is a hexagon, which I love. Your classic Coco Knits um, circles, the little tiny rainbow circles on a Susan Bates little rubber stitch marker. I like to keep all my sets on those markers. It just makes it easier to pick up what I need. These are from Etsy. They're little wires with balls on them. There's probably a better way to describe that, but we're gonna move on to these golden stars from All Stitch Studio. And then we have my empty box, which is honestly the most favorite part of my entire project bag. It came in a set of removable stitch markers that are linked in my Amazon storefront. And I just buy the set for the case. I just had to pop in while I was editing to talk to y'all for a second. I feel like having an aesthetic space on YouTube is like almost an, a requirement at this point. So I've been slowly trying to piece my little corner together and get my little gadgets and gizmos to have the like best possible content that I could supply. So I got a new microphone. What do we think? How do we feel about it? 
if you subscribe to the channel, you may be able to notice a difference. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, maybe you should subscribe to the channel. But anyway, I just had to cut in here and show y'all my current setup because I had no idea that microphones need headphones. And I don't have any headphones with an audio jack. I don't even know who makes headphones with an audio jack anymore. So here I am editing this video in my son's Spider-Man headphones. And uh, as my daughter's trying to knock over the tripod, no thank you. And yeah, it's chaos, but at least we can have a little giggle along the way. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll go ahead and show y'all the little outro clip that I originally intended for this video, just so that y'all can see little Miss Chunk, because she's so cute. And that's all I'll get out of here. Bye! So I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed hanging out with you, and I will catch you in the next one.